talk about, uh, and, and if you guys read the title, guys, for those that are new, my, when I think about this, I'm, I always look at it like this, okay? What are the things that I'm currently learning myself in my business, in my journey to get to the, to the level I want to get to? And of the things I'm learning going from where I'm at right now to a million dollars a month, what are the lessons and the principles I'm learning? And which of those principles can I share with you that's going to be the most valuable for you that if you were on this call today, you could take immediately, put it into action, take a nugget and go and make money. Okay. That's my thing. Because guys, I have a list of topics I could rip on. If you want to give me a sales topic and talk about objections or freaking approaches or closing techniques or all this, I could rip on that stuff forever. That's all I've been doing for the last 10 years. Okay. But I sit here and go, what do people actually need to hear? What is going to get people to move? How do we keep getting people to get deals? Because I understand that if you guys, through my content, through the stuff I share, are, are having success, you guys are going to be like, okay, everything I've tried with this guy, it's working. And you don't know how many people I've got on the call to, to join Flat Fee Mastery that are like, hey, I saw your free group and I tried a couple things out and it worked and it worked instantly. And so that's why I'm here. Okay. So I'm not the guy that's dangling the carrot and, and, and just giving you partial advice that you can't. I'm giving you stuff that you can actually take and you can take action and you can go make money. Okay. And for those that want to go fast, that value, value their time, that want to put this on steroids, that want to pour gasoline on the fire, that's what we have that program for. And we've had some incredible, incredible success. So today I, I, I put the title, I put the title as you're going to die one day. So, so I'm going to read it real quick. You are going to die one day. And what happened to those dreams? Okay. So you're going to like, and I want you guys to think about that as we're going through this whole thing. And the second part of that is I'm going to show you today. And you guys probably saw my post. I think it was Sunday when I talked about what are the things that motivate you? What are the things that maybe they're not things you're proud of? Maybe it's fame. Maybe it's power. Maybe it's uh, approval. Maybe it's insecurity. What are the things that drive you that, and, and if, even if they're not something you're proud of, what is the thing that drives you? And I'm going to talk about how that has to do with what we're talking about today. Okay. So today I want to talk about this. I want to talk about, I want to talk about those dreams that you had, those dreams that you do have, what are you doing about it? Do you, have you crystallized those dreams, those goals? And when are you going to actually get them? Because guess what? For a long time, like in my twenties, between the age of 21 and 30, I was like, oh, I'm still in my 20s. I got time, I got time, I got time. And now I'm 31 and I'm like, shit. In fact, I was messaging my little brother the other day when I was sitting in the hot tub and I was like, dude, I, I know I'm only 30, 31, but if I keep saying I'm only 31, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be 50 and not be at the goals, right? There's people at my level right now that are 20 and I should be way further ahead. I should be way further ahead. And you guys need to start getting a little bit of urgency about hitting these goals and these dreams because you could get fucking hit by a bus tomorrow, right? You don't actually know. So guys, you're going to wake up. If you're not careful, you're going to wake up and you're going to be 40, 50, 60, 70, and you're not going to be anywhere close to where you wanted to be when you started, okay? There's a number of reasons of why that is. I'm going to talk about that today, okay? So I'm going to give you the outline of what I'm going to talk about today. And we're just going to go deep. We're going to go deep into the mud today, guys. All right. So, and I want to talk about when you have these dreams and these goals and these things you want to accomplish, how we can use this business model to achieve every single one of those. I don't care what it is. Okay. So here's what we're going to talk about. Is we're going to talk about how to get clear on what you actually want. That's number one. Okay. And then we're going to talk about how to get clear on the things that are stopping you from getting what you want, which is was number one, and how to get rid of those immediately. Then I'm going to talk about, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how digital real estate, rank and rent digital real estate is literally the vehicle, the bridge that can get you to any of those things. You guys have, you guys have stumbled. Some of you have stumbled. Some of you guys have sought it out. 
I luckily came across this business model, but I'm going to show you how that is the vehicle that can get you to whatever the fuck you want. I don't care what it is. And I'm going to show that to you. Okay. Then we're going to talk about using that thing that drives you, whether you're proud of it or whether you're ashamed of it. And we're going to talk about how to use it to speed this shit up. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to talk about doing the fucking work, actually doing the work. And then I'm going to give you a little bonus, which is how to get there quicker. Okay. So no matter what you want, guys, I don't care what you want. And I put that post up the other day and it was me and I was, I was doing a mirror selfie. I was going back to the college days and uh, I we were out of that, we were shopping for, with my wife and we, we uh, hold on, let me make sure. Give me a sec. Somebody's got to run. Okay. Um, we were shopping and I was just, it's something I've been thinking about. So I posted on Sunday. If you guys haven't seen the post, I basically said, what drives you? Is it, is it fame? Is it money? Uh, sorry. Is it fame? Is it, uh, admiration? Is it power? Is it approval? Is it something like that? That's taboo that no one wants to admit, or is it something else? Right. Which I'm cool. I'm cool with whatever. But guys, I don't care what you want. I don't care if you want to get fuck you money, which is me, okay? I don't care if you your whole goal is I, you just want to buy cool shit. These are some of the comments that I saw in, in the thread. Some of you guys are like, I want to buy cool shit. I want to go and have access to certain clubs and, and places that other people can't, right? I don't care if you want to travel and see the world. If that's your jam and taste the foods and see the and experience the cultures, I also really enjoy that. I don't care if you want to start a charity and, and be like a service person or go be a missionary in some other country. I don't care if your thing is I just don't want to miss more time with my kids because that is a huge thing for a lot of us. Okay. And some of you guys, I really can tell in your comments, you're like, that's what I want is I want to be able to get my time back and be able to spend it with those that I care about. Whatever it is that you want, guys, you need to understand it's going to take money. And I know some of you guys are going to, it's going to make you uncomfortable and we're going to have some people hopping off because we're talking about the big M word. We're talking about money. And what I found is the people that don't like to talk about money don't fucking have money. That's what I found. I put a post on my Facebook group and it got everyone all kind of hot and horny. And I started looking at it. the people that got all nervous about it are, are, are the people that don't have it. Okay. It's, it's funny how it's never the people that have it that get weird about it. So we're going to talk about money today. And, and I, I don't, I apologize as Conor McGregor would say to absolutely no one for this topic, because why the hell are we in this group? We're talking about money, but whatever it is, buying cool shit, having access, traveling the world, getting your time back, you need money. Okay, so let's accept that. Let's quit dodging it. And I know, okay, you can be Mother Teresa and you can be a service person. Great, but you still got to fucking live. Okay, so number one thing I want to talk about is this. First of all, we need to accept the fact that if anyone disagrees with me that you don't need, that, that you can achieve those things without money, please drop a lengthy comment and explain to me and change my mind. But if not, just take note for a second, okay? So... Number one thing I want to say is one of the most powerful things I ever did is I got really clear about what I wanted. And I'm going to ask you guys to do the same. If you guys don't know what you want out of life, I just don't, I don't get it. How, like if I asked, if we were sitting in a room right now and I said, have you mapped out your next 30 years? Do you know where you want to end up long-term? I would bet less than 5% of you would raise your hand. Most of you guys would be like, mm, I've thought about it kind of. I thought about it kind of, okay? And this, the crazy part is, is the, the same people that wouldn't raise their hand are the same people that would spend hours, if not days, if not weeks, planning their next trip to Vegas to go blow a bunch of money and go to a strip club, okay, with the boys or with the girls, okay? You take hours and days and weeks to plan your trip, but you haven't given 10 seconds of thought to the rest of your life. So the first thing that I have people do that join my program in Flat Fee Mastery is I don't have them start the modules. I don't have them pick the niche. I don't have them do any of that shit. Say, hey, that hold tight. First thing I'm going to have you do, sir, 
First thing I'm going to have you do, ma'am, is I want you to watch this video. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get clear on your shit. Because if you don't know what you want, how in the hell are you going to achieve it? And I know that sounds so fundamental, but guys, how do you not know what you want? Do you know what you want? Where do you want to be in a year? Do you know where you want to be in five years? Do you know where, where you want to be by the end of this year? Do you know what you where you want to live and what like the people you want to be around, the car you want to drive, and the things you want to have, and the the the, the what your day looks like? Have you guys not given this thought? And and I'm asking it rhetorically, but I fucking know you haven't. You give all this thought to all the other bullshit, the, the clothes you're gonna buy and the vacation you're gonna go on. But at what point are we going to start thinking long term? So number one, guys, is we got to get clear about what we want. And thank goodness I did this back in 2019, because in 2019, I faced this roadblock or I faced this point in the road, this fork in the road where I was this close to just giving up on rank and rent digital real estate. And I was just going to go and, 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 and work for somebody else. That was what I was going to do. I was like, I'm not cut out for this. I can't do this. I'm not, I'm not this guy. I was this close. And thank goodness I had mapped this out because I dusted that off and I sat down and I was like, okay, let's, let's remember what, what, I, what, what I want. What is it that you wanted? Nick, you wrote this down a couple months ago. What is it? And I, I started going through it again. And I wrote at the top of the piece of paper, I want to be at a hundred thousand dollars a month. And, and I started like looking at it. I'm like, if I don't stay the path, I'll never get there. This is the only way I can get to that 100K a month mark. And that was the very thing. I'm not kidding. I went back and forth. I talked to this, somebody that I was going to go and work for. We talked about how much I was going to get paid and what it was going to look like and how many hours, like all of it. I was so close to just being somebody else's bitch, essentially. Okay. And I almost gave up, but luckily I took the notebook and I wrote down crystal clear what I actually wanted. Okay. So I want to first and foremost say, if you haven't done that yet, as soon as you get off this call, get one of these bad boys right here, these yellow notepads, grab yourself a pen, turn off your phone, turn off your computer, turn everything off. And I want you to sit and at the top of it, I want you to write, what do I want? And then put a question mark and then write the thing. What do I want? And I actually wrote, what the fuck do I want? <laughs> I think something like that. I was like pissed. I'm like, what do you want, Nick? Like, figure this out. And then once you write that, I want you to say, why? Why do you want that? Why do you want $100,000 a month? And write that. And then I want you to say, why again? And then write that and go seven layers deep. And this is not something that's casual. This isn't going to be something you can do in 20 minutes. Go ahead and chalk out 90 minutes to two hours. Because if you're really doing this correctly, it's going to take you that much time. Okay? That's what I want you to do first.